What's up, guys? Ice Man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. So, there's been an announcement for Diablo 4. Celebrate the Diablo anniversary with March of the Goblins. And this is something that I've been kind of missing. I didn't really play a ton of Diablo 3. But one thing that I thought was always exciting, and it was like a dopamine rush, was when there were just goblins all over the freaking place. When you'd run into those hordes of goblins. And it made me kind of miss them. And I wished that Diablo 4 had something like that. And I think that this whole anniversary thing has something like that, like that in store. But nonetheless, what they have going on, apparently, is June 6th to 13 there are free gifts in the shop now i don't really care that much for the cosmetic gifts unless if they have something that's kind of sexy i can put on my women but uh, if that's not the case i'm probably not going to claim them i don't really give a shit but nonetheless there's also gameplay stuff like the mother's blessing which uh i think actually is going to interest me and check this out there's some interesting art here uh i don't think that uh very visually appealing characters here, but nonetheless, they're on like a freaking mound of gold, like smog or something. And then here's some of the cosmetic gifts. It looks like there's uh, some epic looking sword. I think this is a necromancer wand. Uh, some horses and shit. But let's get into the good stuff. The anniversary celebrations for Diablo 4 include multiple ways to increase your treasure pleasure. Part 1, March of the Goblins. These are whispers of increased treasure goblins in the area. They've been worked into a fervor because it seems they're hoarding and dropping even more than usual. So yeah, that's kind of what I was uh, anticipating. Now, this little snippet, there's only one, two, three. It looks like there's only four goblins. Uh, my experience so far in Diablo 4, I don't know if you guys had something similar to this, it seems like every time I run into a freaking goblin in like the Helltides, for example, it's already just taking off and it's gone before I could even get to it. I don't know if it's like a glitch or something, like they sense you too early. It has like hyper AI or some shit where it just detects you and you don't even see it on the map yet, but then all of a sudden it's just gone. But I don't know how many goblins I've missed that by the time I see the damn things, they're just poofed away. So I assume uh, if this whole season of the Goblin or whatever thing happens, that uh, that's not going to be the case. From June 6 to 13, increased Treasure Goblin activity will be present across Sanctuary, with Roderick scholars foretelling the contents of their greed-filled bags rumored to be richer than ever before. The townsfolks are predicting the greed shrines will appear with increased frequency. Yeah, so more greed shrines bolstering the riches of those shrewd goblins. Even stranger still, while in dungeons, goblins are supposedly appearing in pairs, with some tall tales insisting an even larger pack of them together. So, yeah, this is more than just a pair, obviously. There's four. But I wonder how large of goblin packs we're going to be seeing. I mean, I was kind of hoping, like, 10 or 15 or 20 goblins, but maybe that's just too overpowered right now. Maybe they don't want to do that. But nonetheless, if we're going to be seeing them more frequently, or if we're at least going to be seeing them in pairs or packs of four, I think that's going to be a damn good time. And of course, gold is a very scarce commodity in Diablo 4, but I do like that. I hope that they keep it rare because it, 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 it makes me do more things. You know, if, if we just had so much gold and if it just wasn't really that valuable, it'd just make us crunch down to just doing the one damn thing. Like we'd be just always doing greater rifts or something. But I'm doing the greater rifts, I'm trying to masterwork my items, and then I'm out of gold. So then I have to go and do the hell tides, or I have to go and do nightmare dungeons, probably hell tides, and I have to start running bounties. And I don't always like to run the bounties, but now I do kind of like running the bounties because that's how you get all the damn gold. So I, I like it how it is. And I, I'm hoping that this whole season of the goblin thing is kind of temporary, even though I do think they should permanently implement uh, the random rare like pack of goblins. I think that should definitely be a thing. It'd be fun to like go around the open world. In fact, that would give us something to do in the open world in Diablo 4 because I feel like the open world is just really lacking. It just seems really bland. Uh, so if they have, like, packs of goblins that you can find in the open world, I think that would be a damn good time. In fact, maybe that's the only place they should put them. Or they should just have, like, the largest ones in the open world. Then you could get on your horse, ride around, and try to find them. Uh, your, your boys could whisper you, oh, I found a horde of goblins. You could teleport to them and things like that. 
So the hordes of goblins uh, sounds like a good time to me. Uh, the shrines, uh, it's a new thing. So there's these shrines all over the place. But yeah, I think that's going to be a good time. And uh, I'll definitely am going to be on. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to masterwork my gear. In fact, I just did a 12 out of 12. This is my first one. Spar of Frenzy Dead. Just a, a freaking hog of a scythe. And yeah, I am going the path less traveled. I'm not going the golem build anymore. Uh, golem, I think it's really ugly. And just everybody's doing the golem. So this is a spiritual journey here for me. And I wanted to try something different. I don't like just having one big fat minion doing all the damage. And all your other ones are just meat shields. I, I think that's very unimmersive or uh, non-immersive. So what I'd rather have is like a bunch of mages who are just shooting the shit out of everything. And that's pretty much what I've done. It's actually quite successful so far. But I have a lot of work to do on this character. But yeah, it's 12 out of 12, 396 intelligence, 2700 life, ton of crit damage. I think I rolled a perfect roll on skeletal mage damage and a perfect roll for uh, the, the mage to attacks uh, to, to cast twice, which I think is just unbelievable that I had a perfect roll on both of those. And then I just started master working the shit out of it. But that's where I am. Let me know where you guys are at in Diablo 4. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace be with you.